Welcome to Knee of the Curb, the show about where we are on our technological journey. It's the point of most extreme change. I'm your host, Emmett Short. We're talking about the epigenome. It's the software interpreting your DNA. The cool thing about software is it's programmable. It can get smarter. Your Tesla gets an over-the-air update to its epigenome, and now it can fart at people. <laughs> Is that you? <laughs> you need to get that checked out. Not the best example, but you get the point. Currently, the only way to program your epigenome has been to make smarter life choices. Eat healthy, exercise, wear sunscreen. Well, thankfully, the days of being smart are coming to an end. A new technology fusing CRISPR and artificial intelligence is about to unlock programmable health. Turn up your metabolism, increase testosterone without ball shrinkage or hair losage, end cancer, heal like a teenager, dial in whatever age you want to be. Sounds great. Dial up your age to buy beer, dial it back down to go to the college party. But there have to be downsides. Like, if you can hack your age, that means other people can too. Pranks are going to be different. If you're the first one to pass out at the party, instead of waking up with a dick drawn on your forehead, your friends could hack your epigenome and you wake up looking 90 with rickets and a dick drawn on your forehead. Way harder to dodge the draft. I have bone spurs. Well, give us two seconds. We got this. The software to do this exists already. It's inside you right now. But the epigenome, it's written in a language we don't quite understand yet, and this new breakthrough is the Rosetta Stone. This video was sponsored by Dresscar Electric Skateboards. They sent me this pretty sick longboard with LED light strips, belt motors, fast acceleration up to 25 miles per hour, 17 mile range. If you're interested in a full review, let me know. 579 on Amazon, link in description. Thank you, Dresscar. Okay, let's do this. This article is from Technology Networks, Neuroscience News and Research, and it's about research published in the journal Cell Reports. All this is linked in the description if you want to go read for yourself. By combining CRISPR technology with a protein designed with artificial intelligence, it's possible to awaken individual dormant genes by disabling the chemical off switches that silence them. The approach will allow researchers to understand the roles individual genes play in normal cell growth, aging, and in such diseases as cancer. And for everybody wondering, is this going to totally permanently change my DNA? The new technique controls gene activity without altering DNA sequences. Now, something I don't don't quite understand. Maybe some of you nerds in the comments can let me know how this is possible, but they say it doesn't alter our DNA, but can affect the health of future generations as we can pass them on to our children. So let me quickly explain what they're doing. There are these things called methyl groups, and what they do is they act like switches turning the genes on and off. So the team went to try and block this methyl group, PRC2. They used AI to create a protein that would bind to PRC2 and block it. Then they used Cas9, the delivery system from CRISPR. So they designed this blocking protein, which was the cargo. So that's in the trunk of this Uber. This Cas9 was like the Uber. And then they also attached a piece of guide RNA, which was like the passenger telling the Uber where to go and drop off the luggage. And hey, it was successful. They were able to block the PRC2 and selectively turn off four different genes. They were also able to show that they could make these induced pluripotent stem cells and turn them into placental progenitor cells. So they basically adjusted the age of the cells with this technique. I've talked a little bit on other videos about Yamanaka factors. These are the growth factors that are used to turn cells back into younger stem cells. You know, you bombard them with Yamanaka factors and they turn young. This technique basically allowed them to avoid bombarding cells with various growth factors and gene activators and repressors to get them to differentiate. Instead, they can target specific sites on the gene and it lets the cell do the rest of the work in an organic 
in a holistic manner. So not only are they able to control things that they understand, but they're able to turn on and off genes in order to kind of find out what they do. Before, we're looking at a room full of lights and we don't even know where all the switches are. This technique is kind of like finding that huge panel of switches on the wall and then just kind of like trying each one to see what it does. How long until cheap, ubiquitous space travel is a thing? 30, 50, 100 years? How long until an average Joe like moi can throw some money down on his very own spaceship? Man, I gotta live a long time if I'm ever gonna be a space pirate, and that is my goal in life. So as exciting as SpaceX is, the technology I'm most excited about right now is biotech. It's also way more likely to have a huge impact on society way sooner than anything happening in the space industry. So I'm investing in ARKG, ARK's genomics fund. I'm invested in companies like Moderna, CRISPR, Twist, Intellia. I mean, the market has been tanking and it's been disproportionately affecting some of these companies because they're not as established. They're not earning enough yet. But the promise that these companies have is incredibly high. Your epigenome controls so many things like your motivation. I saw a study where they switched a protein in a mouse's epigenome and it increased its motivation to want to work out. You could change the amount of pheromones you're giving off. You could have more sex appeal, animal magnetism, increase your focus, your IQ. These are the kind of designer drugs that are going to be coming out of these biotech companies in the not too distant future. I think the next Tesla is somewhere in the genomic space. Let me know what you think they should do with it, or if you know about some company that's doing interesting and fun things, leave it down in the comments. I'll see you guys soon. Watch this video to stay up to speed on how fast you're being left behind. Leave your thoughts in the comments, even the weird ones, especially the weird ones. I have algorithmic Stockholm syndrome, so like and share, or take it to the next level and join Patreon and help make high tech low brow. And if you wanna be a part of the team and write jokes, DM me on Twitter and Discord. Click subscribe or let the AI radicalize you, your choice. See you in the future.